Welcome to the Arid Tips and Tricks video episode 1. Today we're going to discuss 25 really important tips and tricks to help you survive in the harsh new survival map. If you guys want episode 2 to come out, let me know in the comment section below, and if you have any questions, feel free to ask there, and I might add it in the next episode. If you guys enjoyed this video and learned something new, make sure to drop a like, let's try to reach 100 likes, subscribe, we are very close to 18,000, and let's get straight into the video. Toolboxes are very very important in Arid. They can also be placed in your base, so if someone raids you, they cannot get them. Toolboxes are used for crafting and unnecessary to make a lot of important items such as rescue sauce and turrets. Most guns give low tier gun parts, but some, such as the Ven 98, which is an epic rarity sniper rifle, gives high tier gun parts. A sterile bandage can be crafted by having 3 bandages and 1 antiseptic, which gives you both HP and radiation. All canisters are very important for making explosive compounds. Police vest MK1 gives you HQ fabric and armor plating. Ammo pouches can be salvaged with a pocket knife and gives you HQ fabric. You can buy marking flares from Nomad which are very useful for quests. Around the map there are landmines which will automatically kill you if you or any zombie walks on it. If you salvage scopes, sights and binoculars you get lenses. AP shells give you 1 fourth gunpowder frags and iridium traces. In order to progress into bunkers you would need to get keys but if you do die you do not lose these keys. Wooden buildables have 300 HP, brick has 600 HP, metal has 1200 HP and adamantium has 2400 HP. Each double the last one. Clay can be found underwater and can be harvested with an entrenching tool and can be made into bricks. Roll of lead are very useful for biohazard clothing. Construction mega zombies can drop anvils which with a blowtorch can be crafted into 7 metal parts and they also drop saw parts. Military mega zombies drop all of the RPG parts, gunpowder, encrypted transmitters and many many more important items. Horde beacons can only be placed in a small part in Abu Al Kabair and can give you thermobaric grenades which can raid gunpowder, plastic rolls, adamant Cementing ingots, explosive compounds, and armory cards for Fort Canal. In order to enter Fort Canal, you must wear full biohazard clothing. In Fort Nell, there is a really good loot room, and in order to enter, you would need a rescue saw. In Point Oscar, Airfield, and the water plant, you can use a rescue saw to break open a metal door, and in there, you will find some important loot, such as items to craft night vision. In order to get the broken pickaxe part, you can get it from this part of the map right next to the mine entrance. There are a lot of random item spawns in the map, which most of them can only be used for salvage and will give you metal fragments. With metal fragments and a blowtorch you can get yourself metal bars, and with these metal bars you can get metal plates, and from these you can build metal crates, metal buildables, and metal doors. You can hotkey pistols and other melees. Hammers are needed to salvage metallic parts. From horde beacons you can get armory cards, where in Fort Knell there are 3 boxes which you can choose from. The yellow one gives you explosive compounds, the blue one gives you armored vest, MK2 and heavy helmet, and the red one gives you a multi-grenade launcher. That's it for these tips guys, I hope that you enjoyed. Again, if you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below and I will try to answer them in another tips and tricks video. And I will see you in the next one. Bye!